Welcome to the main kitchen here at St. Andrews. In the summer of 2015, the WA and Property Committee together researched and carried out a number of custom upgrades to make our kitchen more user-friendly and efficient for everyone. Let's take a closer look. This bulletin board contains general information for anyone preparing food in this kitchen. An important feature in our kitchen is the hand washing station and we have the handy towel dispenser which makes it very very easy for drying your hands. The improvement I'm most excited about is our movable stainless steel table. With the touch of a toe, take the brakes off, move it to wherever you might want to use it within the kitchen, either for food preparation or dish cleanup. Put the brakes back on it. And stored below are the dishwasher trays with pegs, bus pans, and flat dishwasher trays. This entire section has been replaced. And you'll notice here we have drawers for our cloths and towels. And with the touch of a finger, they roll really easily. Here we have one and a half sinks for food preparation and cleanup. Stored below are cleaning products, vinegar and bleach. This tap folds out for easy cleaning. We have our hand towel dispenser here. And this is the sprayer to spray off plates, particularly if there's gravy or food residue left on them before they go into the dishwasher. To operate the dishwasher, here are the steps. Be sure this basket is in place. Put it down. Turn the key on and press the on button. 20 to 30 minutes later, this display window will indicate approximately 158 degrees. The washer is now ready to start. Press the cycle button and that will move the dial from 1 to number 6. For the most part we use 2 and possibly 4 for pots and pans. We are now ready to do dishes. The machine automatically starts when you put the lid down. The display window will indicate what's happening with the machine indicate wash, rinse, and when it shows approximately 180 degrees, the cycle is now complete. When the dishes are all finished, turn off the key. That also shuts the machine off, so you really don't have to touch the off button. Remove this food basket. You should not bang this basket, but rather gently knock it. Rinse it out, make sure there's no food particles left in it. Replace the basket. You raise this lever, that drains the machine, and the door should be left up. Here we have our first aid cabinet, just in case there's a mini accident. Our gas stove was serviced when we did the renovations in the summertime. You do need a key to operate it. If you don't personally have one, one is available at the office. And the instructions to operate the stove are here on the cupboard. We've installed a stainless steel shelf here to house the coffee makers. And there's a stainless steel shelf underneath the pot sink for holding pots and pans. We have a roll-out garbage container, which makes life really handy.
Here we have supplies for coffee, making, tea, sugar, spices. And here we have teapots and coffee pots. Here we have our butcher block table. A stainless steel liner has been installed on the bottom shelf, which makes it very easy for replacing and pulling out your pots. In this cupboard are pot lids and ladles. And here we have drawers. The labels are self-explanatory. Along this side we have bun baskets and water jugs. In this area you will find the glass serving plates and we now have them on racks which makes it very very easy to choose the one you need. This is the glass bowls. glass and stainless steel bowls and platters. Salt and pepper, aprons, and food wrap. This is the ante room at one end of the kitchen. We now have very comfortable chairs adjustable for everyone. We'll fold down the arms and if you wish to have the seat lower you just pull the lever. If you want it higher you must ease off. And then for storage we put the arms back up and under the table. In this cupboard we have our water glasses stored on the dolly. These trays simply lift off. We have additional water glasses here and the parchment paper is stored here as well. Here's our freezer. Please make sure when you use it that the door is tightly closed. Any food left in the freezer must be marked, otherwise it will disappear. Here we have our flower vases. Here we have our gravy pitchers. And here are the condiment trays and some milk pitchers. This is the smaller of our two fridges and here we have instructions on making coffee. And that's for the volunteers, particularly for coffee hour on Sundays. The contents of our fridge should be labeled so that you know what you should and shouldn't use for any situation. For main events like a congregational dinner or reception, here's where you'll get your china, saucers and small plates on this dolly, dinner plates on this dolly. It's very important that after using these dishes that the dust cover is replaced. And you will probably need a buddy to help you get this rolling. It's a little bit like a transport truck. Difficult to get going. Once it's going, it's quite easy. Here we have our cup dollies. This is our regular cups. We have two dollies of regular cups and one of mugs. And the mugs should be kept separate from the regular cups. Here's how easy it is to use this dolly in conjunction with doing dishes. I'm going to wash this soil tray. When they're finished, you simply replace the wrap. There's no need to touch the cups. And you're ready to go. cream and sugar. And this is the white dinnerware cups and staff mugs. The white dinnerware flatware. We 
which is really handy for small events. And here we have our soup bowls. This is our main fridge. A word of caution when using it, be sure the doors are closed tightly. Here we have our stainless steel flatware. Again, everything is labeled. For ease of table setting, just pick out your tray, put on your trolley, and there you go. Forks, teaspoons, dessert forks. Just in case you run out of forks, there's more down here. We have knives, tablespoons, and soup spoons. And they're all pick out bins. house our cutting boards, which are on racks, and serving trays. This cupboard contains the juice glasses. Sherbets. Glass plates. Below we have our roasting pans and salad spinners. Kitchen machines, toasters, and punch bowls. This rack houses our general purpose flat pans, baking pans, and racks. In the hallway outside the kitchen here, we have our blue bins for recycling products and our garbage bins. Remember in this corner, we have our fire extinguisher and the instructions are on the label. We've tried our very best to label and organize the kitchen for ease of navigation for everyone. Please help us keep it organized by returning the items to their proper place. Enjoy the new kitchen.